We need four squared. That floor is too small. Okay, let's do six squared. Six by six, 36. Yeah, that's better. Let's start with that floor. Three squared. That just means three times three. A three by three? You know that one. That's a big whopping nine. Too easy. Let's try something harder. What about four squared? That just means four times four. You know what four times four is. 16. Four squared is 16. Ooh, we need a hard one. What about eight squared? What is eight times eight? You know the answer to that. Eight times eight, that's 64. Eight squared is equal to 64. What is 100 squared? Don't worry, we'll figure it out before this episode is over. Smash that big red button that says subscribe. And join the Greater Gators class to get full length episodes. See you next time. God bless. What is 10 squared? I think you know this one. What's a 10 by 10? You bet. 10 by 10 is 100. Woohoo! That's 10 squared. Now let's make it really challenging. What is 0 squared? That means nothing by nothing. Bloop! That's a big whopping nothing. Now, let's make it really challenging, mash, eh? Let's look at a negative four squared. Okay, in the last video we talked about squaring positive numbers. We're gonna look at squares, cubes, and so on and so forth. You have a negative times a negative number. That's gonna be a positive number. So this is the same thing as saying negative four times negative four Negative times a negative makes it positive. So what's 4 times 4? Boom! 16. Yeah. But what if you have an easy one, like negative 2, and then you square it. That means negative 2 times negative 2, and a negative number times a negative number. That's going to be positive. So what's what's 2 by 2? Ah, you know that one. Too easy. That's 4. Meanwhile, Negative three squared, again, a negative number times a negative number makes it positive. And we know that three by three is good old fashioned nine. So negative three squared is nine. Yeah. Don't get scared now. We're gonna talk about 100 squared. Hmm, that's a really big square. 100 by 100. Imagine a big Lego piece. 100 dots by 100 dots. So, that's the same thing as saying 100 times 10 times 10, because 100 is 10 by 10. Haha, <laughs> so 100 by 10 by 10. Well, we know that 100 10s, or you could say 10 one hundredths, oh, that's gonna be 1,000. And when you have 10 one thousands, well, it's built into the name, that's 10,000. So 100 squared is 10,000. Welcome to the bonus section. Let's look at two cubed. Here we have a two by two by two.